All right, so we're going to keep monitoring this White House press briefing. John Kirby at the microphone. Karine Jean-Pierre will step up a brief time from now. Um, but on that misidentified drone and the reporting on it, uh, John Kirby saying he cannot confirm that is what happened. John will await more details on that. But on him responding to the attack, what you just heard from John Kirby uh, on behalf of the administration, there's no easy answer. We do not seek escalation or another war, and the U.S. will respond at a time of its choosing. But it certainly takes you back to all the moments where this president warned, don't, John. And now many, many, many attacks later, uh, the question over how we are responding continues to get bigger. And, and how many times over the last number of months did we say the president can say don't all he wants, Iran's not listening, it's telling its proxies to keep up the attacks, and one of these days, Americans are going to get killed. And now it's happened. You know, this banner, IRGC, feels these attacks are worth the risk. Jason Chaffetz still on set with us, John. You had a strong reaction when you heard that. Yeah, they're looking at the risk versus the reward, and they're not seeing a whole lot of risk to continuing with these attacks. There's never been a consequence that they can't tolerate. So 160 attacks, people that are now dead. I'm tired of, of Admiral Kirby coming up there and telling us the president's going to give an appropriate response. How about a disproportionate response? How about standing up saying, we are the United States of America. You're not going to be pushing us around and have such an overwhelming response that Iran can't handle it, can't afford to do this yet again. Until the president takes that kind of posture, Mm -hmm. instead of appeasement, instead of making sure they get all the money and we go easy and we just proportionally do it, our troops will be in danger. Okay, back to the briefing room. Jack, Jackie Heinrich is now asking questions of Kirby. Let's listen. The way forward, the proper way forward is to get the supplemental passed. Okay. And then in response to MJ's question earlier, it sounded like the administration has ruled out strikes within Iran. Jackie, I appreciate the question. Uh, I think you can understand. I hope you can understand. Uh, I'm not going to telegraph punches here. We are not looking for a war with Iran. We are not looking to escalate the tensions any more than they already have been escalating. In fact, everything we've done has been designed to try to de-escalate those tensions. That said, this was a very serious attack. It had lethal consequences. We will respond, and we'll respond appropriately. I'm not going to telegraph what that's going to look like. The question, though, was if you were actively considering targets inside Iran, and your answer was, we don't see conflict with Iran, which indicates that the administration would view strikes within Iran as escalatory. And so is it that the administration ultimately does not hold Iran responsible for these attacks, or that the current level of risk and loss to U.S. troops is somehow acceptable? I do appreciate the, the question and the chance to, to, to say it again. I am not going to telegraph punches for the President of the United States. I'm not going to get ahead of his decision space and how he's going to respond. We'll respond appropriately. And you're, you know, you're right. This attack had lethal consequences, um, which these attacks in the past have not had. And as I said in my opening statement, as we work through what those options are, uh, we'll be mindful and informed by the fact uh, that there are now three American soldiers that have been killed. So it's clear, obviously, that don't didn't work. Does the president have any regret over not pushing, punching back harder in any of the prior responses that he's taken to these proxy attacks on U.S. forces? I would, uh, uh, I think I would push back on the idea that we didn't push back harder, uh, that we have taken significant action against uh, Iran economically. We have certainly taken some ad additional and uh, more aggressive steps to go after these groups. Um, we're certainly taking aggressive action uh, against the Houthis to try to de defend shipping in, in the Red Sea. I mean, this idea that somehow we've just, you know, whistled past the graveyard here and, and, and walked away from the challenge that Iran poses just isn't borne out by the facts. Really? Iran, uh, uh, these proxy groups have been attacking our, our troops and our facilities in Iraq and Syria well before this administration as well. And we... Though, like, for instance, Mike Waltz said this morning that when you're trying to play defense constantly rather than punching back in a meaningful way this blood is on this administration's hands what what is the response from the White House to an accusation like that what I would tell you and I would tell the congressman is we're mindful of what Iran's doing in the region and uh, we have taken aggressive action against these proxy groups and about and and on their influence in the region and there are decisions yet to come so let the president make his decisions let him weigh these options and then we'll act uh, these groups have choices to make, um, and uh, we're going to do everything we can to, to make sure that they make 
uh, the right choice here. But uh, the idea that we have somehow laid down um, and uh, and not pushed back on Iran is simply not borne out by the facts. John, in Israel over the weekend, some ministers from the Netanyahu so John, government. So, John, you have to ask yourself, what was the original messaging from this White House and the administration and Joe Biden with don't? Was it don't kill any Americans? Was it don't attack our U.S. bases? Was it don't show any escalation here? Because now he's saying that the difference with now the more than 160 attacks here is that with this case, people died. But was that the red line? Because they never said that. Well, I mean, the effective impact of it was what he kept saying, don't, 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 was he was telling Iran, don't listen to a thing I say, which they didn't. And they kept yeah. on attacking us. And now we see uh, the result of that. Uh, Jason Chaffin's still with us. Jason, uh, if, if the White House chooses to hit back against these Iranian proxies, whether it be Hezbollah, whether it be Hamas, whether it be the Houthi rebels, I mean, those groups are just cannon fodder for the Iranian regime. And unless the president hits back against Iran proper, is anything going to change? No, no. I heard Admiral Kirby very clearly say, we are not going to telegraph what we're going to do. Maybe it's time to telegraph what we're going to do. You attack America. You fire shots at America. You come after Americans. I will kill you. Your, your life will be over. That's what you think about the men and women who are in the theater of war. If your son or daughter is out there serving and this president won't say boo other than don't, what does that message send? You have to speak the language of Iran and these proxies. They know they, it's peace through strength. It's what Ronald Reagan would do or what Donald Trump would do. And you have to fire back and be crystal clear in your messaging, not just this cute don't, don't, because obviously that didn't work. Um, so it's perhaps there was some indication there, John. Maybe you heard it as well. Uh, he doesn't want to broadcast the president's actions. Maybe there are big plans here to respond. If there are, they are not detailing them and certainly not telling the American people what that next step is. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights. Hey, you're done. What's the fun, woman? Ah, what's the fun? What's the lie? Oh, toujours, ou crazy. Ah, m'oblige, parce que y'a même le passé tout le temps. Ou c'est plus belle pour que les gens, moi, ou c'est pas bon pour tout le monde. Puis les filles, ou c'est mon âme pour être en bol, moi. Avant que les pères de vie, moi, de pousser la crainte, moi. Avec tout la vie, moi, pas rien fait. Ou c'est plus belle pour que les gens, moi, ou c'est pas bon pour tout le monde. Puis les filles, ou c'est mon âme pour être en bol, moi. Avant que les pères de vie, moi, de pousser la crainte, moi. Avec tout. C'est toi paye, le pape dit toi Racino ou c'est qu'à quatre pour soldats Mais non je vais mon c'est qu'à si d'eau Mon bouge au bouge à des Figui moi peine et l'aime pas je ne veux Et sous pas vine je moi Franchement la vie moi déjà peu Chali c'est où moi vle Quand sur les pays à papa le matin Tout est trop plus j'ai vle Moi pas vle tout j'en va pas Sauf qu'on aime à parler de où tout Tout n'a plus j'ai vle que tout moi Tout est moi c'est où mais pas qu'on t'aime tout temps Parce que moi j'ai non moi c'est Sadi Et à pas la main de moi Non moi c'est Sadi C'est ça que tout finit dans l'issé Il n'a pas gagné un petit sali Mais c'est ta vie moi pas quitter moi Nous pas m'nan Ajoutez lui, ajoutez qu'il y a Nan fi tout qui est moi Moi mais moi d'amour et moi fou pour vous Moi pour mettre tout l'amour jusqu'à l'infini Maxi plié ou en grâce accepté nan vie ou Ma mon chance nan fiché Nous pas quitter nan nos statis Parce que c'est où qui en ta gueule Mais c'est où moi vie ta gueule Même si vous pas t'accepté moi pour jouer dans ta gueule En ta gueule ou c'est plus belle pour que les gens moins Ou c'est pas bon pour que les gens moins Vivi vie ou c'est mon âme pour être dans le bol moins Avant que les pères tout le vie moins De pousser la vie dans le game moins Avec tout la vie moins pas rien fait Ou c'est plus belle pour que les gens moins Ou c'est pas bon pour que les gens moins Vivi vie ou c'est mon âme pour être dans le bol moins Avant que les pères tout le vie moins De pousser la vie dans le game moins Avec tout Honey, moi même avec nous qui pour nous former au clan Comme dit qui c'est l'or, mami, mettez-moi sous le cœur Pour tout le temps qu'il y a, pour que l'or vous pas pour quoi Ça qui tout fini, moi c'est les rois pour les papis Passez maintenant qu'il y a, pour rouler tout comme femme crazy Si m'pas fini, pour nous m'lever, je vois le bandit Et si toutefois m'a fini, c'est serré pour les physiques Je vais te servir tout, c'est les mafales